Sonny, evaluate your day's work for me. Done the job, came home with the gold medal, so that was yeah, great for me. Considering the last couple of weeks I've had, I've really been struggling in training. I mean, I got, got ill, lost five kilo of body weight. I was down at 88.7 um, two weeks ago. So I've been eating loads of food with uh, one of my sponsors, Buff Box, have been sorting me out nutritionally and uh, really got me back up to weight. I still only weighed in at 91.4 yesterday, which is still obviously very light, but I pulled it together on the day. Left myself a bit of work to do on the on the snatch. I was seven kilo behind Owen, but uh, I knew clean jerk was my strength and uh, pulled out on the day. You're perhaps a bit more of a showman than other competitors. Are you consciously trying to sex up the image of the sport? you you got to have fun when you're doing your sport. I think it's with weightlifting, it takes... You only do two or three competitions a year. You spend hours and hours in the gym and you forget actually why you do the sport and it's to have fun and enjoy it. And that's something that I would like to do every time I compete is come away and say, you know what, whatever happens, I had fun, I enjoyed it and I put on a show. It's something I felt over the last two or three competitions that I've done. I haven't been myself. I haven't really, you know, had my showmanship and really enjoyed myself. But uh, I brought it back yesterday, I felt like myself on the platform and really had good fun and yeah I want to put on the show for the crowd because they've come all the way to watch us. Like, so. And you've donned on a cap, I've not seen that before. Yeah, I always like to do something different, I used to wear um, a, head, a bandana around when I used to lift but um, a lot of people started doing that so, so I sort of thought, you know what, I'm going to start wearing a snapback. Um, at the start of the year myself and uh, Gareth Evans, there was a training camp going on in Colorado springs and it was going to cost myself and gareth uh three thousand pounds each to go and compete and we had nowhere near that money between us we had two thousand pounds between us that we wanted to spend so we sat down gareth's obviously in hollyhead i'm in bristol in my flat sunday afternoon and we thought right what are we going to do with this money like we want to spend it to better our training uh what can we do so we thought ideas started to go back and forth and we thought you know what this two grand, what we're going to do, we'll jump in my car and we're just going to drive around the country of petrol, we'll stay in people's houses and stuff and we'll just go and train with a load of people like to try and create a bit of an atmosphere really. Um, but that idea started to snowball and before we knew it, we jumped in a camper van and we're traveling around the country to 14 gyms in 14 days, uh, raising money to help for heroes. Um, so every day we went to the gym, we did put on a coaching clinic for free um, people donated to the charity um, yeah we went all around uh, the UK and raised a load of money we raised £4,500 for charity had a great atmosphere everywhere we went because loads of people come out to watch us and train and uh, yeah it was a great experience but um, one of the companies that actually sponsored the tour Heavy Rep Gear who now sponsor me full time um, gave us a load of hats to wear and when we were training I just slammed the hat on and it just became part of my thing now so I can't train without one I've always got I've got big collection of hats, put a hat on now when I train. So you've almost done a road trip of this sport. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was a great experience. It's something that needs to be done when you're training hard on your own all the time. You know, just me in the gym, Gareth just in the gym on his, his own. It's hard to really get the buzz and like, you know, improve. So we wanted to get together in order to better ourselves and uh, it worked. Gareth done awesome yesterday, banned double to it snatch and I've just come home with gold, so I'm pleased. And when you were performing, of course, your dear mother was watching on the other side of the world. Uh, what feedback has she given you? Have you spoken I to her? I haven't actually spoke to her yet, but she was absolutely buzzing to be actually be able to watch the British for once. So uh, there's normally not a very good stream, but obviously having you guys here putting the stream on yesterday was, uh, was great. You'd like to see it again, would you? Or would she? Yeah, maybe. I haven't actually watched my list back. I've seen a couple on uh, a few people's phones and that, but I'm going to probably sit down with my coach on Monday after all the adrenaline's worn off and uh, evaluate my performance and look forward to the next competition. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you very much. I just want to say a quick thank you to uh, Ashley Metcalf and British Weightlifting for putting on an awesome event. All the sponsors that have obviously been, uh, been supporting the event today, it's been great. The British is becoming now a real great event to watch and people want to come and see it. So I just want to say a big thank you to those guys and obviously to my personal sponsors, Jeff Dovey and my coach, Andy Suter.